easier, especially with dogs. Like, to have a house right now in this economy. So. I always look crazy. Like, I, I feel like I really always look crazy. It's not a vibe. Woo. All right. Can you see me? Oh, Max, sorry. Um, we are going camping. If I can get the camera right. I've got to find some good tripods because I, girl, no. Um, hold on. I'm going to put you on this box. Going camping in like two hours. I just ran to the store because our Kroger, we got a Kroger order delivered. Our Kroger shopper. Our Kroger shopper did not get the um, dog. I ordered chicken breast for the dogs. Max has been a crybaby all morning. Um, so I went, I ran to Whole Foods, but also Alex gave away all of his, what's it called? They're like these, you know, the things you keep things cold with that you put in the freezer. He gave away all those freezer packs to his sister. I don't know why, because we need them every time we go out of town. So I went and picked up some more and also and our cooler was really raggedy. So I got rid of it during the move. So I picked up a little cooler bag and we'll get a bigger cooler as we get into summer um yeah anyway i picked up some stuff from well i had hollywood feet delivered for the first time last night and um it took five hours to get here like i ordered at four o'clock they didn't deliver it till five till nine p no till like 10 p.m they closed at 6 30 so you tell me but um i just got them some treats i do like this georgia smoked and this is the um, the deer one, and it's just venison, black beans, and preservatives. But um, let me see Max. He's been being a ham all morning. I'm trying to see if he'll come up here. He won't. But he's standing there waiting. And then Roxy's totally out of food. She's on the From Senior diet. But I wanted to compare it to the from, um, is this weight control? Yeah, weight management. Turns out, I looked at all of the benefits online. Um, they're pretty close. These two. They're pretty, like there's like 1% less fat in this one than in the senior one. Because senior food is usually also weight management food. Just because the way the protein, like the different types of proteins or the percentage of protein. I don't know. Something about protein and senior diets. Um, anyway. Actually, it's right here. Yeah, it's like 2% less protein in, in the senior. And then it's 1% less fat in the... There's way less fiber in this one. So I don't know if we even need to switch her. Can you hear them outside doing the house, working on the house? Anyway, I got her the small bags because I was just, I just wanted to see. You know, anytime you change a dog food, you have to transition them or it'll mess up their stomach. So I think that's you too. So something about gut. Something about your microbiome, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, girl. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna just take mostly this, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this on top because we're going camping and I'm packing their camping bowls right now, their food bowls. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm not really, I'm not really gonna be filming out there. This is like a legit relaxation trip for me. Cece's sick this morning, she's on the couch. So like my focus is just gonna be on Max actually unwinding. <clears throat> so you probably won't see me again actually until we return. Um, so I don't even know I filmed this. <laughs> and when we return, it'll be the end of my vacation. Um, we get back on a Wednesday. Um, I'll go back to work Monday. And I'm going to coffee with 
an old co-worker Thursday and then my um, friends are coming over friends coming over her husband and her kid on Saturday so really the rest of the week will just be me cleaning and actually resetting my, my mindset to get back into the groove of work I need to catch up on some papers grading some papers um, for my part-time job um yeah so i'm really hoping to max is in the kroger bag max what are you doing you're a very greedy dog i wanted to windex all the windows but they're working on they're saying they're burning if you can hear all the paint off the house and I don't think a lot of these windows were sealed because when they were power washing the house, water sprayed through the door, the windows, mm, some insulation issues for real. But um, but yeah, so I'm going to skip the windows until they're done with the house and they probably won't be done with the house until end of April, which is a bummer. Um, seems like something they should do in the summer but then they'll be hot outside so but I'm gonna make the, the best of this this is why we're going camping to get away from it and also might do a picnic this weekend with the dogs I think that might be fun actually I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna plan a picnic with my mom on Friday or Saturday we're gonna go walking and then we're gonna do a picnic and I'm gonna take my dogs because <laughs> I like to take my dogs <laughs> whenever I get out the house to get them out the house but um yeah um girl i'm talking way too much i think i'm talking because i have stuff to do and i don't want to do it so let me get to that i have packed the dog's bag all their foods in there and packed up i got their vitamins their joint supplement their new treat all their meds up here <laughs> everybody's watching me of course cc does not feel well today but we're good to go like everything I, my bag is packed and their bags are packed Whew. so i'm gonna just straighten up a bit so that i don't feel like it's chaotic when i get home <sighs> but we are done i'm gonna take some magazines i subscribe to oprah daily so i get her get that magazine now and i got this in the mail like two weeks ago and just haven't opened it yet so i'm gonna take that take one of my business creative business magazines and I'm all packed I got my crayons my coloring books oh I need to download some books on audible what do you think yeah hey so uh, oh I just hit Roxy in the face we are camping it's a day later um it's the end of the second day we're only here two nights two days two and a half days um and yeah i didn't think i was gonna film while here and i didn't really like i i tested out instagram live just for the sake of testing out instagram live but that's about it um and i've taken a lot of photos i told myself i'm gonna get um whoa way too much cleavage excuse me i told myself i'm gonna get back into um blogging like the things that bring me joy instead of trying to keep up with all these platforms and the changes they make because truly I would totally be happy without any video content like besides YouTube um but you know I get it I get the game but I'm just trying to find peace again and joy in what I'm doing so I have a few projects that I'm working on right now um Alex went out to get dinner because we can't rough it okay like we made hot dogs last night i brought lots of soup because just in case i just like to have soup just in case like if i'm just not feeling like eating anything or i don't feel my best soup always is the answer um and yeah so really today all i've had is like some nachos he ran to the store earlier <laughs> there's a store nearby and um pickles and a muffin i brought some apples but we didn't touch any of the fruit i don't know why we we packed like we were going to be here for like a week but we were here two days we leave in the morning so um yeah I always say I want to stay longer but I don't think I do I don't think I like staying longer when we're in like wood adventures 
Cece's under the table. Max is back there. Roxy's right here. Um, we just finished our walk. It was a very long walk. We finished the trail this time. We are at the New Orleans um, getaway. Hey, Rocky. We went. We came out here last time. We didn't finish the trail because we get we started too late into the day, and we started pretty late today too. Like we we got up at like nine nine or ten and then he went to the store oh they had to change our fridge because there was a smell coming out of there i think i'm gonna cook some turkey for the dogs tonight actually um anyway long story short we ended up taking a nap <laughs> like two or three hours later and then we didn't wake up till three o'clock so we rushed over so that we had enough time and it's 5 30 now we just got back like 15 minutes ago so it was a nice walk like it's 45 minutes about 45 minutes to get through the trail so we walked a good hour and a half the dogs walked 45 minutes we carried them the, the way back because cc was acting kind of sick this is not my angle i'm feeling kind of self-conscious like and all the cleavage it's like whoa but anyway alex went out to get food um we have plenty here but We'll just eat this later this week at home so we don't have a grocery shop. I can't believe I go back to work next week. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. I've been off work a week and a half and I'm loving every moment of it. It's making me want to quit my job. No joke. I just need a break. But I'm going to go back. I'm kind of excited to go back. I'm not excited to go back. But when I go back, I'm starting a new account. And... Uh, you know, we're just going to see what the month brings us. I come back at the beginning of the month. So it's going to suck a bit, probably. I'm going to make the most out of it. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try to finish the hallway this week at home so that I feel special when I'm walking through it. It'll help, you know, a little, a little change here and there makes the whole thing just feel special like anything in life. But anyway, um, Alex is probably bringing it back. I don't know what he's bringing it back, but um, I'm gonna take a shower while he's gone. I feel weird taking a shower while he's gone because I don't know, I keep hearing things outside. But yeah, so we got a single bed this time. Per I prefer a double bed because it's bigger. The cabin is bigger, slightly bigger. And you get space for dog beds in a double cabin you don't in this one so cc she's under the table she slept um right here last night because she wasn't feeling her best but she feels okay today so she's probably gonna be on the bed so it's not gonna be as comfortable because this is a queen and we have a king at home but it'll be fine like it's not it's not uncomfortable it's just not comfortable um there's just enough space for everybody but anyway yeah i i'm glad we brought we came i am um one of these days i'm gonna come without the dog so that i can just 100 percent not be a mom because i feel like i'm always momming and that's incredibly draining so yeah but right now i actually i bought some coloring books i'm not a fan of coloring with markers but i saw somebody do it and so i wanted to do it and i don't like it and I also am not a fan of these coloring pages. I think that's a big part of it. Like I start one, then I stop. Like there's a, a hipster dog. I started coloring him and then I just stopped. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I've been keeping myself entertained, but there's nothing like just completely not having to take care of someone else, like to totally just take care of yourself. <sighs> so something I could have totally used but I didn't so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do <clears throat> just a little mini vacation for myself I'm thinking about booking a spa day and then a night in a hotel <laughs> just me because sometimes like you just really just need to go like just have a night to yourself and so I think I'm gonna do that um like maybe I don't know closer to my birthday maybe for my birthday I took off a few days so maybe but anyway, this has been a nice trip. I will not bring the dogs back to one of these places because the gravel, it's not meant for dogs. It's really not. Um, there's an amazing place. Um, it's a tree house in Chattanooga. 
um it's just more on the expensive side like three nights there is about a thousand dollars um so and two nights here is like 250 so yeah you know <laughs> so that's why we took this trip but yeah anyway I did two nights because I'm doing three nights here. It's just not comfortable enough. Like, if I were in this small place by myself, then sure. I might stay a week, maybe. But no, not not with the dogs. It's not dog friendly. That place up in Chattanooga, I would spend a week there for sure. I would love to take a family vacation. Like, to camping. My family never wants to do that, though. You know, I would love that. To camping or Disney. They always want to go to the beach in the summer. I don't like being outside in the heat. It upsets my skin. I'm not a nice person when I'm hot, you know? But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna end it here because we don't have to continue any further. Like, <laughs> I was gonna try to do like my last few days off work, but Nah, I don't think I'm gonna record anymore my last the rest of the time I'm off work. Like tomorrow's Wednesday. And then I have lunch with an old co-worker. I'm I'm I kinda want coffee instead of lunch. Um on Thursday. And then I'm having a picnic with my mom on Friday. And then we have dinner for my sister. My sister moves um Sunday, so like she leaves the state so my brother and sister are gone i'm the only one and it's so weird because i legit thought i was gonna be the first to leave like i spent the past two years looking for like we legit thought <laughs> it's just weird because i really thought this january i would be moving to new york and i just moved into a house in my hometown and i just think that's just so it's just funny the way life goes but anyway my brother and my sister are officially like gone like they're leaving they're moving before me and that's just funny like everybody in my family keeps saying that it's just interesting because like we legit thought I guess because I'm the one who's always traveling <laughs> we thought I'd be the one to leave but I think because I travel so much it feels like I feel okay at home if that makes sense because I know I can leave whenever and I do leave whenever and it's just you know I don't know easier especially with dogs like to have a house right now in this economy so you know I'm just I'm very pleased and no I don't own the house but to rent a house is insane and you know I just I'm very blessed but I'm happy for my sister um I hope she loves her thing where she's going but the next few days what I'm saying is gonna be kind of getting back into the groove and I don't want to do it so and plus on top of that I have things to do and my old neighbors she invited me she had a color party a month or so ago and I had work like I was just so tired because I had just moved it was like a month into moving because it was the first week of February she had her party and you know I do reporting at the beginning of the month so it's like hell work is hell plus I just I had to catch up or I had to do something that weekend and it was just not fun and then plus we were prepping for a super bowl at work it was just a lot and so i missed that party and she's been texting me like hey you know how is everything and i'm like you know i've been asking god for a friend who reaches out to me because i'm the one <laughs> look at me venting i'm the one who's always reaching out to every like i plan everything in my life like every interaction and sometimes i would just like to be swept off my feet <laughs> like sometimes i would like I just want to know I'm on somebody's mind you know what I mean so she has reached out several times so I'm like I gotta make something happen here we haven't invited anybody over to the house my friend coming this Saturday is coming over and the house is nowhere near ready for anybody to see it but I've been friends with this person for like we met when we were 11 so we know each other she's seen the worst of me and I've seen the worst of her so it's totally okay <laughs> that she's coming over she's bringing her husband and her baby i love her baby i've only met her once she's the friendliest kid and it's so interesting because both of her parents are very 
Um, well, actually, her dad is pretty social. Her mom is not so social. And I just think that's so interesting, like, how your kids at an early age, you can see who they are. And then as we grow older, we kind of become our parents a bit. I, I don't know if I'm making sense there. But anyway, it's just interesting seeing her. She has, it's like, she... She reminds me of Roxy. Like she, she seems like she can be friends with anybody. <laughs> oh, so she's coming over. She's gonna meet the dogs, and I'm excited to have a child. I'm afraid, I'm nervous about a kid being near my dogs, but I'm excited that she has parents who are introducing her to animals so young because I was not introduced to animals, and I was terrified of animals. And we all know when we're scared of something, we. We hurt something. I've never hurt an animal, but like there's been plenty of animals. I'm like, shoot, get away, or like ran, you know. Like as a kid, <laughs> there was a puppy that chased me around. I got dropped off at school late, so everybody was in, and a puppy chased me around the whole. Like I was terrified, and it's like it was a puppy. Like in hindsight, like I remember telling a teacher, and she just laughed because she, I guess she thought it was cute. But yeah. If I had been introduced to puppies, you know? Anyway, girl, I'm just rambling here. But um, I, I think I'm just tired because I don't feel like getting up. I just went walking for an hour and a half in the heat. I just really, I'm glad we got out here because it's gonna get hot. It's about to get hot. Like it's gonna be so miserable in just like six weeks. So, six weeks, yeah, six, eight weeks. So, I'm trying to be outside as much as possible um which is kind of hard at home because freaking maintenance man is always there fixing something on the house um but i'm excited i'm gonna make the most out of it and hoping to get a garden started soon I'm, I'm i'm talking too much okay so i'm just i'm just i guess being out here in the silence right now especially with alex being gone like when we were walking you could hear anything in the woods and that was just so right now it's so quiet I love it and I guess when it's this quiet because at home it's always loud somebody's always drilling something burning something hammering something I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm appreciating this silence and Alex as much as I love him is a very noisy man and he likes to play music and podcasts and things loudly and I am very much quiet person like if I'm not talking I'm quiet I'm talking a lot but anyway um okay I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and I'm excited for the things to come I think it's what I was getting at I have a few fun days ahead of me and I'm gonna get my house clean and stuff and just relax and unwind and reset so I'm gonna take a shower right now and plan out my March content to be more strategic about it and also my March personal life and then I'm gonna have dinner and then geez we're having dinner early hmm. and then I guess we'll just do whatever we're gonna do I'm not gonna plan out tonight but yes um thank you for watching <laughs> um it would have been fun if the dogs were more involved but they're asleep so I will see you next time. Bye.